Mont Brave. I just don't know what to say, Mont Brave. <laughs> when we stroll out for our innocent but healthy perambulation through the town, we do not expect to be verbally assaulted in such a way. I mean, who was that uncouth? And I am going to use the word yob. <laughs> From what he shouted out, I presume he was a former work colleague of yours. <laughs> Your surmise correct, Monsieur. <laughs> but pray, uh, do tell, if it's not too painful, who exactly was he? I'm sorry if I'm prejudging him on just one brief encounter, but he seemed very common, extremely vulgar. The way he just yelled out to you, all right, Colin, are you still working for the council, painting those white lines on the ground? What a dreadful little man. As you are fully aware, in, in a former life, mm. I was a representative for the local council, uh, performing a vital, a vital function, which enabled divers to, to use the correct lane uh, when conducting their vehicles uh, along the highway. I am not ashamed of it. It's just that I've moved on since then. I have become more refined, more attuned with the incredible world of art. I, I fully understand and totally empathise with you. I mean, if we'd been sauntering along, cordially discussing some of the finer points of the works by Paul Klee, and an element from my past had suddenly yelled across the road, Oi, Reggie, do you remember me from the time we worked in the warehouse, packing those motor assembly parts? Do you still look at those weird paintings? Oh, I would have been mortified. And I was so much enjoying our talk on the... Bauhaus movement. Oh, yes. yes. It's influence on the modern world. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, uh, please forgive me for continuing with the subject. I, I'm not trying to cause you more distress. But when you were painting those white lines on the road, were there any specific thoughts going through your mind? How do you mean? Well... Did it ever occur to you that by repeating the same manoeuvre over and over again, you were imitating, in, in, in your own way, a work by someone like Bridget Riley or Joseph Albert? Albert? Study of movement on a plane. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, yes, I recall that piece. Uh, a yes. series of, of black and white uh, vertical lines which then distort. I, yes. I must admit that there were times, uh, there were times when, when I wanted to produce something of an abstract nature, um, something which said, This is me. Mm. Yes. Mm. Did you have any moments when you were packing those items? Um, when you wished you could be more artistic. Oh yes, oh yes. When I was putting certain items in, in, in a box, I tried to place them in certain uh, positions. I tried to make them look as if someone like Picasso or, or, or Malevich had uh, created the piece. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I remember being told off by the manager on more than one occasion. I won't repeat the word which he often used to call me. <clears throat> it, it 
it seems, it seems to me that, that our past is catching up with us. Yeah. Uh, if only we could have met up with each other all of those years oh. before and, and shared, shared our mutual love and appreciation of all things artistic. Then, horrendous events like what has just occurred would never happen. Mm. You need to exercise your demons. Well, how do you mean? Well, you wanted to create something original with your paintwork. Yes, yes. Well, let us do it now. Uh, Mon ami, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, just be disarray, but I, I don't follow. Well, yesterday, when I was searching in the cupboard under the stairs for my hot water bottle, yes. I noticed that there was a tin of white paint. It must have been left over from when we had the window frames painted last oh, summer. Yes, yes, yes. Why don't we use that to create a piece of art on the road? Oh, but, but, but won't the authorities see it in a rather um, negative light? Oh, my dear Cedric, as I said before, demons must be exorcised. Besides which, you are going to create a work of art. Oh, oh, a thought. What? What if it proved to, to be um, well, well received? Um, uh, could I? Could I become a new Banksy? Exactly, mon brave. Oh, Blissigans! Let us put on our shoes and head out to possible stars. So, uh, what ideas did you have in mind? Well, I thought replicate the um the, the white lines by, by by putting um extra rows in. Yes, See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we could extend one of the longer white lines and bring it round into a tail. Oh, oh yes, a, a, a series of um zigzags down the road. Yes, yes, or, or, or probably a moon and some stars coming out of the oh. junction. Push out the boat, push out the boat and paint numbers. Numbers? Random numbers. Or, or we could do letters from the alphabet. Oh, oh, oh. What, what if we paint a zebra crossing? Well, isn't the a zebra crossing just a few yards away? Oh, um, no. We paint a picture of a zebra uh, as if it were in the process of crossing the road. How wonderful, how novel. I bet no one has ever thought of doing that before. Then that, that is what we shall do. Right, I'll just get the um, lid off this tin. Ah, Sarah, Mrs. Dobson. What are you doing? Come along. Oh, and get that important thing. Indeed.